The Initiative Order. Nothic, Zora, Patches, Arvinder, Firemoon, then Dove. Can I have a player's handle? Heck yeah. Cool. We gotta get you some cue cards so you can write down all the text of your spells. Patches! I have a bunch of cue cards. So Patches? Yes. I should bring them. Constitution. No. Please? Shit. Roll a 12 or higher. I rolled a 13 natural, which is nice. 14, so, yep. Um, I'm good. Yeah, you feel that wave of nausea hit you again. This one-eyed little bastard's trying to make sick. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't work. Zora, you're up. One second. I'm just looking at the spell. Zora creates a chromatic orb of fire, Ooh, and nice. she tries to send it flying at the theme of our work. So that is 25 to hit. To hit the Nothic? Yeah. Oh, yes. 18 di- fire damage. Oh, nice. There goes my diamond. <laughs> Kill it, please. <laughs> Patches, you're up. I take the shiny sword and stab it in the eye. 18 to hit? 19 to hit. 19 to hit, okay. You and notice that the sword glows as you're swinging it. And it's easier. And that was just like eight. reaching for the tiny sword. <laughs> <laughs> Roll damage. Paladin sword. Uh, that's... So it gets a plus one of some sort. Plus seven, that's eight damage. Arvinder, you're up. Uh, he's gonna run over to Dove and heal. I just need to borrow that book again for a minute. Anyway, heal, heal Dove, and what does Dove need to do? Or no, Fire Moon is up next. Yeah, Fire, Fire Moon, Moon, you're up. Oh. I was gonna heal the, the elf, but you wanna, I guess it's... I can t- do the channel positive energy if you want to heal the elf. Okay. Okay, I'm going to channel positive energy instead. I mean, is he an undead, technically? Or he's just something creepy? Zora knows that it's not an undead. Not an undead. Uh, You'd be healing it. Uh, yeah, don't do that. What am I What's do? your max hit die? Um, 1d10. Two, two d- two d- so 2. Oop. So see, You're healed for 9. And then Arvinder <laughs> does the... Th- Thingy. He does... What's the thingy? <laughs> he whips yeah. out his thingy! <laughs> and yeah. waves around! I am proficient with long swords. Alright, I'm going to smack this bitch up ahead. Excellent. Let me smack the bitch. Oh dear. Um, 18 to hit. Bitch is smacked. Alright, and he does 1d8 damage. Plus that, so 7 damage. Nice! Is Arvinder or Dove? Arvinder. Bitch is smacked. He has a warhammer when he feels particularly courageous. And then you've been calling it, her. you've been saying her, so that's why I asked. That's all right. And finally, Dove. What can she do? Well, she's feeling better now that she's healed. She won't steal the sword from Patches. She'll actually charge at the dude, at the thing. Okay. Botch. For her first attack. After I make her feel better, I basically just point in the direction of the thing and basically be like, attack that. 23, she stumbles getting up, but then 23 <laughs> to hit her second time. Yes. That's 6 damage. Nice. And it's back to the Nothic. So it's going to strike at the three... It's going to try to strike at the three that are... that ju- range. Yeah, that just entered its melee range. 16 hit dove. Mm, yep. And she is slashed for five damage. Okay. Arvinder. Mm-hmm. You are hit for 13. No. Nope. Okay. And that's its turn. I thought Zora. you took the three. Okay, Zora. It only has two to attacks. cast another oh, spell okay. on it. So that is going to be... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so she casts Witch Bolt on it. And nice. And that, a crackling blue energy lances out towards the thing. Conveniently and, oh. arcing around us. <laughs> <laughs> One damage! <laughs> okay. And it's dead. No. no. No, it's not dead. No, but she keeps it going, so <clears throat> it will affect next turn. Nice. Patches, you're up. Go! I stab it in the eye with the shiny sword. I'll determine where you stab it. Gazing at. Mm-hmm. 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 
Ten to hit? Nope. Damn it. It swats the sword away. Away? Harvin. No, like, it, it's parrying. Oh. It, it, yeah, it uses its claws to just swat the sword away. Cool. Arvinder, anybody hurt? I am. Just dove. Just dove? And, yeah, just yeah, dove. I'm, pa- I'm, I'm hurt. How hurt? 13 uh, out of 17? Fuck, you need it. And while this is going on, Fire Moon. Has it been saying anything or screaming and or taunting us? No. Any? No. It's just focused on trying to kill you. Kind of depressing. I'm going to charge at it. I'm going to have Beowulf charge at it, too. Okay. Since everybody else is attacking it. He damage? Yep. That means I'm back at full health. So I'm going to roll Beowulf first. Okay. Which is... Uh, 13. 13? Oh, the Nothic just swats Beowulf aside. And that just further infuriates me at this point. Okay. Because it hit my dog. Well, it didn't damage Beowulf. It hit my dog. Four. Nope, that isn't a hit. And rolling again for my other attack. Oh, boy. Three. I basically just run into the dwarf because he's so short I didn't see him. Don't trip. <laughs> I'm like four feet tall, dude. I'm sorry, I'm six foot two. Uh, 22 and 22 to hit. Yes, both of those hit. Ten damage. This thing is on its last legs. Yay! And it's at the Nothic's turn. And the Nothic, it, it is absolutely outmatched. It is going to try running. Nope, back of opportunity abound. There's three of us up here. Yep. Actually, isn't there four? Five, including the dog. Yes. Five attacks of opportunity. Mm-hmm. So I have 23 hits. Mm-hmm. And also a 20 hits. Mm-hmm. A nat- 20 not natural hits, I believe. Mm-hmm. Eight damage from Dove and eight, nine, ten damage from Arvinder. Okay. Nine damage from Patches with the shiny sword. Okie dokie. Shiny sword Dove. Tiny paladin sword. So this is what happens. It's scary. Shut up. (laughs) So this is what happens. You stab it in the eye. I attempt to kick it, miss, and just fall on my butt. Yeah. Arvinder smacks a bitch. Yeah, Arvinder smacks a bitch. And Dove decapitates it. With the first swing. And then with the second slash, you just... It's now in three pieces. I have to say, I really like the combat system for D&D next. How much mm-hmm. EXP for the uh, Nothic? 450. Divided by however many? Divided by five. five. I roll a natural 20 to just basically soccer kick its head across the ravine. Oh! How many? 80 experience points for each of us. Okay, I'm just adding it to the pending experience points. Okay, so... Either way, we're leveling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to level. It's just a matter of... Well, actually, at this point, we don't have enough to level. We need... We need 199 to level, and we have 120 right now that are pending. What? So. Don't we level at 1,000? I think it's 900. 900. Oh, Why don't okay. we ask the person holding the book? I don't care that much about it. I do. Uh, we level when we level. I want to level. Anyway, so, yeah. Yeah, we, we level get... at uh, 900. So we still haven't... We, we haven't have... rested, so we can't get it. We but... potentially haven't even finished this dungeon. Hmm. I suggest we rest. We should rest in the dungeon. Yeah. Where are you going to rest? We could go back to the barracks and have someone post a watch. Yeah. That I only need to and rest for four hours. And before Zora rests to regain her spells, or she will cast Identify on the shiny sword. <laughs> she grab the it sword. and then cast. I say we should roll to see who gets to... Actually, does someone mind taking a four-hour watch? Question mark? I want I'll take the sword. Her. This sword <laughs> once belonged to a great knight named Aldith Tresendar, a knight. known as the Black Hawk. Oh. Sir Aldith died fighting off orcs that came in through this region. He sounds heroic mm. and paladin-like. It is a plus one long sword. It also apparently light. glows. She... Yes. All magic items glow. Oh. She okay. uh, informs the others of this and then holds out the sword for whoever to take. <laughs> Pulling out with the handle first and leaving the blade on the flat of her hands. I've had a long life of misdeeds. And it turns out I'm not even very good at it. (laughs) 
And now you get a shiny sword. But I'm the paladin. You got a shiny sword last campaign. <laughs> I'm just going to let those two argue about it in the barracks. <laughs> And I'm gonna... You always make the character that gets the shiny swords. I never make the character that gets uh, the shiny and swords. And she's gonna look at the scroll that was in the... Oh, yes! The <gasps> Can I see the book? Shiny sword. Can I see the book? Yay, book. I was about to consider multi-classing in the paladin. You can multi-class in the paladin, but I never get the good equipment. You always get the good equipment. You always take the good equipment. Oh. Alright. The other loot... It is a scroll of augury. I think Zora will take that as her part of the Potions. The potions are two potions of healing. Can I have them? If you want. Mine. I'm not going to argue over them. I just gave away the shiny sword to the paladin. Mm. Yes, that's where shiny swords go. Create another paladin. <laughs> I just load them onto my belts. <laughs> no, I can give you a shiny short. Sword. Actually, she gives it to Avender or whatever. Avender? Avender. Yeah. What the healing potions? No, the oh. uh, the the artery. Ooh, scroll of artery. Okay. It's not a wizard spell. So no. I'll give you so. the five malachite then. Okay. Good for cash redemption. Yep. Yep. That'll be good to for buy buying another diamond that I used up with a chromatic war. So you rest in the barracks. I take a four-hour meditation because that's how long it takes for me to rest uh-huh. and meditate, and then I stand watch for the rest of it. So it's how while many I commune with my pine uh, cone. One hundred and twenty each. You... I'm assuming we're <clears throat> we're taking like a twelve-hour rest because then yeah, you're taking a long rest. Yeah, longer than usual because a long rest is usually like eight hours, but someone needs to watch for four hours and then rest for eight. So I can do a four-hour rest. So we have so 961 I'm, experience now. I'm essentially communing with my pine cone while standing watch for eight mm-hmm. hours. You cone. all rest, you reflect on the experience that you've had, and you all gain some sort of insight that makes you all stronger. We communing with my pine cone will we, do we, that. We go ding and gold like shoots out of our crotches. <laughs> Leveling up is really fast in this game. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a book, so... Well, 961, we're already at level 3. Oh, that's what you mean, okay. Yeah. Thankfully, my crotch is closed, so it's not like it's glowing. Awesome. On that note, I think we should stop the recording and level up. Hello, folks. Ted here, and I just want to apologize for the shortness of this episode. I felt that there was no way I could segue the end of one audio file into the beginning of another, so you'll just have to forgive me on that. Hopefully, future episodes won't be this short. We all remember how drawn out it felt when we were only producing 15-minute episodes at a time. Though I will guarantee that Friday's episode will be much longer. So, I'll see you then.